Whitney Nicely here with Anna Whitworth from United Capital Lending, and we were just talking about you know some credit issues or how you're going to get financed. But I mean, it's very typical that you need two years tax returns or two years W twos or ten ninety nines or something. But what happens if, say, I am a bartender or a server in a restaurant or a hairdresser and all of my money or most of my money is tip money or cash money. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with that? Um, basically, what we do is we just take a two-year average on your tax returns. It's really good if you can claim your tips. Like I know a lot of companies will claim them on like your credit card receipts. And then cash, you just kind of put in the back of your pocket and not worry about it. Um, like that. <laughs> Actually, I've been a server before, so I had a shoebox. The bank would run from me every time I walked in to deposit money. But... You cannot deposit enough money at this point, um, whether you're showing the cash on your tax returns or you're going to possibly use it as a down payment later on down the road. Um, I have friends that are bartenders, and you would not believe how much money they make. So what we do is a two-year average, okay? So we would basically look at your hourly rate and do a two-year average because sometimes you work less than 40 hours. And then we would... <laughs> sometimes you work less than 40 hours and make more than people who yes, do work their 40 hours. Exactly. Um, and then sometimes... And then we could take like an average on their tips. Okay. Um, if it's not claimed on your tax returns, there's really no way that we can... I mean, cash is cash. But you do have to have two years um, tax returns in order to be able to do a two-year average. And say, you know, two years ago I wasn't ready, but now I am. I can use those two years, but say it takes me a year, then I've got one year that I, ha I have mm -hmm. that I can claim it and mm -hmm. I can roll it going forward. Mm -hmm. Or say I'm in a house right now and 10 years from now I know I want to get a house or another house or a bigger house. Mm -hmm. I can go ahead and start doing that now so that mm -hmm. I'm ready for my next purchase. Correct. And like I said, you know, some hairdressers will make $10 an hour. $12 an hour and then you know they'll have their tips well we can actually go off of their hourly wage as long as it's like guaranteed hours or there's an average of hours yeah. worked weekly we can average that out but for the most part cash um, needs to be verifiable if you have any questions or you have a similar situation give Anna Whitworth a call at United Capital Lending thanks a bunch